tell me how has been your weekend because for me weekend is one of the most amazing days it's most amazing day because one you get to do your favorite things i love to read books i love to do my, uh, look at my stories and i like to dream because all my good ideas come when i'm dreaming not with your eyes closed with your eyes open because the best ideas come when you keep dream on with your eyes open in fact over the weekend i thought that which is the kind of story that my friends my little friends would like to hear have you ever met a rakshasa or a monster in your life have you hmm actually few years ago till few years ago i was extremely scared of monsters or rakshasas in my life every time that i would enter my house the first thing that i would do is look behind the door at night when i would enter my room to sleep the first thing that i would do is look under the bed to see if there was a mon monster hiding there and then slowly i would tip top to the curtains and draw them aside and then peep on the side to see is there a monster hiding there i was that scared of the monsters but all this changed when i met the pleasant rakshasa yes that is the most awesome monster rakshasa in this entire world and i thought i am going to share the story of that pleasant rakshasa with my most favorite audience today are you ready to hear this story the story's name is the pleasant rakshasa and the story has been written by author somya and beautifully illustrated by nivedita i want all of you to go and pick up this book after this storytelling on getlet and see for yourself how pretty are the illustrations so i am going to start my most favorite story about the most favorite rakshasa the pleasant rakshasa with you his name was karimuga now karimuga was a pleasant rakshasa he had a kind hearted soul he had a beautiful soul but he was also the most beautiful rakshasa in the entire jungle he had a beautiful purple body he had pink cheeks he had two horns on top of his head and he had sparkling red eyes his arms and his legs were full of hair and he had a big round belly also he had few of the most beautiful yellow teeth in fact they were so bright they were as bright as the white flowers growing in the jungle at night in the jungle in the dark his yellow teeth would sparkle so much that all the moths all the moths would come flying towards his teeth ha huh? because they thought wow this is a new light source and we want to be around that such were his teeth but you know out of all these features what was his best feature can you guess hmm his most amazing feature was the beautiful smile that karimuga always had and i think that made him the most beautiful rakshasa in the entire jungle but all his friends all his fellow rakshasas were very jealous of him when they looked at him they would say oh i wish i had such a beautiful purple skin i wish i had those sparkling red eyes i want horns like that i want 
hairy arms and legs just like karimoga and what about that big belly i want a belly just like that and when karimoga heard them talking about himself he felt very nice and so good wow all my friends love my feature but one day he started to worry he worried that because of all his features all his friends are becoming sad that night karimoga could not sleep he tossed and turned he rolled over from one side of the bed to the other side and he could not sleep the whole night he said i need to take advice for someone who is very sensible he decided to go to the most sensible being in the entire jungle and that most sensible being was the wisdom tree yes wisdom tree is the oldest tree in the jungle and he was so huge that even if karimoga wanted to hug her he wouldn't be able to so he said i am going to walk to the wisdom tree and take her advice so he jumped out of the bed in the middle of the night he walked tak 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 and went to the wisdom tree when he reached the wisdom tree he bowed his head out of respect and did a polite namaskar said my dear wisdom tree i have come to take ask for your help oh uh, the wisdom tree said help you can ask me for anything but don't ask me for invisibility immortality or idlis so karim was said actually dosa is my favorite i don't like idli so much so the wisdom tree said hmm okay then ask what do you want to ask so karim was said i want you to distribute all my beautiful features to my friends why why do you want me to do that actually i am uh, bored of my features but the wisdom tree was wise she knew that karimoga wants to make his friends happy he doesn't like to see them sad so he is ready to share all his beautiful features with his friends so she smiled and she said hmm karimoga your wish is granted hearing that karimoga went back to the jungle running and when he reached the jungle what does he see that all his friends are jumping with joy they are so happy one of the rushes saying look at my purple skin look at my bright sparkly eyes another one said look at my pink cheeks look at my hairy hands and legs and another rashasa was so happy to see his big belly everybody was clapping and jumping with joy and singing songs and they were extremely happy looking at them karimuga also felt happy but he felt a little sad also looking at him becoming sad one of the rakshasa with the bright sparkling eyes came to him and said no feeling sad today the one with the horns he said today nobody in the jungle is going to feel sad everybody has to be happy now the rakshasa who had the big belly he got an idea so he rushed he ran towards karimoga and started to tickle now who can save himself from a tickle like that immediately karimoga burst out laughing looking at him all the other rakshasas also ran towards karimoga and they started to tickle karimoga yes they went all over and all the rakshasas then started to tickle one another everybody fell down on the ground laughing with lots of joy and laughter 
And with that kind of a joy, Karimuga started to roll down the hill. And he rolled and he rolled and he rolled and tap! He fell into a stream of river. And then he came out. Mm, mm, mm. And then he looked at himself in that stream. And he smiled. Because what did he see in that reflection? He saw that the wisdom tree, the wise wisdom tree, had taken away all his features and given it to his friends, except for one feature. And what was that feature? Can you guess? Hmm, to know about that feature, I want you to go back to Get Lit, pick up the book, The Pleasant Rakshasa, and find out for yourself which was that feature. Now tell me, who all want to see? How does our favorite Rakshasa Karim Muga looks like? Yeah, I'm going to share with you how he looks like. See? This is how our dear Karim Muga looks like. Can you see his purple skin? Can you see his two horns on top of his head? What about his pink cheeks? And his yellow bright teeth. Right? Isn't Karimuga the most beautiful Rakshasa? In fact, I want all of you to draw out your favorite monster or Rakshasa. Now that Rakshasa is going to be your own. So you can make it the way you want to. Take a piece of paper. Decide the shape. Do you want your Rakshasa to be round? Or do you want your Rakshasa to be a triangle or a square or a star? That's up to you. And what skin color is your Rakshasa going to have? Will it be purple like Karimuga? Will it be bright orange? Will it be fluorescent green? Hmm. You are going to choose the skin color of your favorite Rakshasa. And what features is your Rakshasa going to have? Will it have yellow teeth? Or will it have pink teeth? Will it have long hair? Or will it have no hair? Will it have hair on the arm and the body? Or do you want your Rakshasa to be hairless? I want you to dream with your eyes open of a beautiful, pleasant Rakshasa. And draw it on a piece of paper. Take a picture of that Rakshasa and post it on the Facebook page of Get Lit or Crafito because I want to see how does your beautiful Rakshasa looks like. Fantastic? Great. And in this lockdown, I hope you're keeping yourself safe and your fellow monster also safe. I hope you're washing your hands and you're not stepping out of your house because I want all of you to remain strong and healthy. Correct? And after this, I want you to pick up lots of such stories on Get Lit. Yeah? You can log on to the website getlit.co or you can download the app on iPad or Android tablet because I want you to read lots of stories and I want to see you creating your own stories. Now, if you love the story and if you loved Kari Muga, you have to share some love, show me some hearts, some likes out there. Because next time, I'm going to bring another beautiful, amazing story just like you amazing people. Right? Till then, bye. Have a nice week. Enjoy yourself.